Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another video of mine here on YouTube. Today, we are talking about quickly grading multiple shots all together. This is just a simple way to get a bunch of shots looking good as quickly as possible. So you can do something like show it to a client or, you know, get things looking good enough to show somebody so you, you know, so that it isn't the worst. I get a bunch of questions about this. So this is how I do it. I have a few shots here. These are all shot on the DJI Mavic 2. It's a variety of different exposures and subjects. These all are shot on the same camera, which is a situation where this trick works the best. But if you have multiple cameras, you can pretty much just do this for each different type of camera that you have. Pretty much what I try and do is pick a shot, first of all, that looks the most similar to other shots. Sometimes that's easy because it has the same exposure as everything else. In this case, I don't know, you could probably argue that it's any of these shots. This one's kind of at sunset, same with this one. And these are all a little bit earlier in the day. But we're just gonna pick a shot that looks nice to start out with, because you kind of, you gotta start somewhere. So I'm just gonna do a really basic grade of this shot. Now I can do this by hand or I can use a LUT. I'm gonna go ahead and load a LUT from my system. Because this footage was shot in D-Log M, I'm just gonna load that LUT and that will give us a pretty good result off the bat. I'll hit Shift S to add a serial node before our correction and maybe I'll just roll up on the gamma a little bit and maybe down on the saturation just a little. And there we have a pretty decent looking grade. So let's disable these and kind of take a look at what we've done here. This first node that I added is a LUT and that's kind of like a preset color grade that's designed for this type of footage. This is designed for D-Log M. If you're using a different type of camera, you're gonna to wanna to use a different LUT that is designed for your camera. So if you're shooting on Sony in S-Log3, you're gonna to want to use an S-Log3 LUT. And we have a ton of LUTs available at groundcontrolcolor.com. Just go up to free LUTs. And we have basic correction LUTs available for free for a variety of different cameras, from Sony to Canon to DJI drones, to even Blackmagic and GoPro. So that's a great place to get a LUT that will work like this. You could also do a quick correction yourself. If I were going to correct this really quick, I would bring down the blacks, probably bring up the gain, add some saturation, and add a little bit of contrast in the curves. And that's gonna give you a pretty good result no matter what kind of footage you have. Of course, the more experience that you have color grading, the easier that will be. But a quick, easy way to get a nice looking but a quick, easy way to get a nice looking grade is to use a LUT for the camera that you're using. I'll delete this other node. And then this node that I have before it is what I like to call a tweaks node. It is basically just making adjustments to the image before it hits the LUT. So let's disable this LUT and we'll see what it's doing. So here is the untouched image. And here's the adjustments we're making. We're basically just, we're just rolling up the gamma and desaturating it a little bit. And then we're putting on that LUT so the end image looks like this. And now what we're gonna do is take this grade and just copy it to all of our other shots. Now, because we made this with this shot in mind, it's not necessarily gonna look perfect on all the other shots. So we are gonna have to adjust them a little bit, but that's what we do here in this first node. So here's how we copy them all over. Start at the beginning of my timeline and shift select so that I'm selecting all of my shots and then I'm gonna middle click on the shot that I just graded. So that's shot number four. I'm just gonna middle click with the mouse button with the scroll wheel on the mouse. And now I have at least a basic grade on everything in my project. Now, some of these are not going to be ideal. Like this shot might be a little bit dark and we'll need some more tweaking. The good thing is that I can just open up this shot and this very first node, I can just adjust this a little bit until I like it. And maybe at the end, I'll do something similar. Just kind of boost that up to a point where I like it, bring up my scopes. Maybe I'll bring the gain down a little bit and I can go through shot by shot and just quickly tweak each one to be in the ballpark of where I want. Again, this is not necessarily a final grade. If you like how it looks, you could use it for a final grade, but it's a very quick way to move through a bunch of shots and get a graded project without spending a ton of time. And this is pretty much the way that I grade anything that has to be done really quickly or if we need to send an edit to a client and we don't have time to do a full grade, this is a great way to get some pretty good results without a ton of effort. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more videos on DaVinci Resolve and color grading and things like that, make sure to hit that subscribe button here on YouTube. Click the notifications so that you know when I put a new video out. That about does it for me. My name is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time.